Right, what do you need from the commission? Just, just any recommendation of what you prefer to see. If you like the closer one, if, the, if we're on the right track, that's fine. Um, if you like the, the octagon gazebo uh, slash, you know, kind of area there as well that goes to the north, if, if the, the design looks okay, we will just continue to move forward. So, just your blessing. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
you know, max budget for it, um, but um, we don't quite know that yet. Um, the other thing I will mention is there will be a considerable amount of work that Ashton and I will undertake to apply, including the need for um, addressing certain points. So stewardship grants are all about points and how many points you can get. And the city of Ripon has ever been awarded one but never received a stewardship grant uh, from the DNR, which is frankly um, kind of fascinating because everybody gets these eventually over time. So, you know, we applied for one more recently for the Mass Kooten two years in a row and we missed, we missed funding uh, by a point each year. Um, the appeal to this project in that program is really the um, the access to water and the points you can get for those amenities as well as just the overall um, kind of right mix of amenities that DNR likes to fund in these projects or that these projects um, focus on. So um, you know they don't they don't necessarily do ball diamonds and things of that nature. Um, they focus really on sort of that um, passive recreation. So um, this improvement, you know, has been is kind of the, the, the best fit for that program to apply for. Uh, if we apply and we get funding, we then have a conversation we have to have about whether we accept funding and we can do the project next year. Um, the goal would be to do that. Um, if we don't get funding, obviously we would reapply um, year after year until we get it. Sometimes it takes two, three years to, to get the attention or to get all the points. But um, we need letters talking about economic impact and so on and so forth. So we, we'll begin working on, on that and putting together the application. But we just wanted to sort of share the concept and um, see if there's any additional input to the red bubble. No? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Paved path, I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Yep. It would be asphalt. <laughs> I should get out of the sun. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, talk about too, like getting the communities input, like for people who fish there regularly, like what would be the best spot for the um, launches and the fishing? Um, we the fish are when I fish there, so we caught some nice fish there, but it's always over on the other side is so where we fish, so we can not I guess I check around and see. Yeah, yeah. I don't know enough about fishing, so it's the experts. <laughs> 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 yes. There we go on the other yeah. side. Yeah, on the other side we caught some nice fish. Mm -hmm. In the parking lot, looks so like we've got a third of what we anticipated. Or we have a number of how many cells that would be? It would be approximately um, one, two, three, four, probably around 280A, probably nine to ten cells. Okay. So for, for, for that space, um, it, you know, to accommodate the, the usage there to begin with, probably the adequate. Mm -hmm. So, wheelchair okay. access, you just go all the way up and then you have to come back, it doesn't go across. Uh, what's that? The, 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 the roadside or? The well, roadside so is do they have to go like. Oh, the, yeah, so we, we can talk about adding another path across the roadside. Oh, mm -hmm. so someone was there, yeah. 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 And then, do they have to? Yeah, in the future, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, 
we'll sort of leave everything else. We'll, you know, we'll probably shrink up some of the parking lot area there to begin with that that's there now, um, and put this in and, and you know get grass or something else in the other area. Keep the skate park there for the time being, where it is to the left of the parking lot, um, and just you know. Um, if we if need to see need to expand it in the future, we can. Oh, we can put like I said, low park out anyway. Yeah, we got our stopping from right, right. from you know. Um, I, I don't know if the current parking arrangement there it's, it's been filled in with you know uh, asphalt and things, and it's it's not great. I mean, it, and I don't know if there's more than two or three cars there at any given time currently. Obviously, we hope more than that. There's other amenities to use and things of that nature, but um, I don't think we need to overbuild parking. The nice thing is just ADA accessibility <laughs> with a kayak launch that has ADA accessibility, so so that you know you, you don't have a long path to get to a place where you can launch the kayak easily. And frankly, the, the type of the type of kayak launch will be uh, designed in a fashion that. Um, you know, it's 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 large. You could probably fish off of it as well, um, but has um, a a launch area that um, you know you drop a kayak in, and it's easier for the average person to use too. So it's 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 not just um, it, they're actually pretty nice and um, make it easier for accessibility for all. So. Is that uh, uh, open air shelter on the south side? Is that have um, bathrooms or is that just a just a just, just, a, just, a, just, a, just, just like a okay. so, you know, and, and if it gets too much, that's probably the first thing to go. From the standpoint, there's another one existing there that we would connect to. Um, we we did it, and, and the reason we didn't go south toward the bridge at this point and, and depending on whether we may loop around and kind of kind of tie in that south point there but that bridge the existing bridge that was down there um, is a is a fairly big problem from the standpoint of i think you know somebody was talking about i think a stamp on it or some sort of plaque in the middle saying when it was built well mm -hmm. it, it's not you're going to build an ada Client path, you're not going to be able to use that bridge. So we'd be talking about replacing a small pedestrian bridge, which, frankly, could be a significant chunk of money. So we kind of cut it off there and said, let's try to just let's try to get a path along the lake. I have a question. Yeah. So how much time between this phase and rest would, would there be? Um, good question. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, our general master plan is a 10 to 20 year plan. And I think as we evaluate other needs in other parks, we will try to rotate this and, and say, okay, Murray Park, we did this and doing other trails. You know, Selfridge, we did this. You know, now let's focus on Barlow, or, or let's focus on them. So, to come back around to it is going to depend on a few things, including funding opportunities, including overall usage, um, you know, response from the public, and what other amenities need to be put in there. From the standpoint of additional stuff, um, the other things that would be there that are significant, like like playgrounds and things, they're already there. They could be improved, no doubt. Um, so those are a little bit easier to manage uh, because those projects are likely a hundred thousand, one hundred fifty thousand uh, versus the whole thing, which is you know north of you know a million for the whole thing. So um, to go to like this area to do native prairie and stuff, I think there could be grants or you know opportunities there, or maybe there's clubs or something that adopt that concept and we're able to do something a little light down there, but that bridge sort of kind of cuts off that self part from being done for a long time. So um, I would say 
with all of these parks, we're on the 15, 20 year plan. And that is, you know, from a grant perspective, um, the only thing capping us really in terms of this application would be our own match and what we're comfortable with of spending. So um, we can go bigger. I think the max is a max of the I don't remember if it's a million bucks. So you can do a two million dollar project, but uh, you know, come up with a million dollars. <laughs> And that, that was part of it too, and, and, and we get it, and I think it's, it's something we have to continue to look at, and there may be an opportunity to um, fundraise or get grants to improve those things as well, um, as well as work with the Boys and Girls Club to see if, if they want to partner on something there. Um, I think really the park. That's probably my favorite park, and it's the most shaded, which is nice. <laughs> We should probably plant some trees there too and stuff, so we'll we'll continue to do that. But and, and the thing too is some of the some of the playgrounds can be funded, but they get funded out of a different program. So it kind of complicates it and just, you know, it doesn't help or necessarily hurt to add a playground. It's just it just comes down to, you know, cost. And the trails and everything else. I mean, the, the, the kayak launch like that is it's a, it's about eighty thousand to ninety thousand dollars just for just for a kayak launch. Okay. So. <laughs> the funding side of it from the city. I mean, if we got put in half of it. We would budget, and then there's these opportunities to use other funds from from you know. TIF districts or fundraisers or whatever. So I think there's there's a way to get it done. I mean, um, we'll just have to commit to it, you know? And um, yeah, it's just you gotta try. You gotta yeah, it's part of it. I'm worried about the you know, public perception of fiscal responsibility, you know, right? Like, are we just doing it? Well, there's other things that could be taken care of. It's also quality of life is important, right? So you know, we can grow in the community and these things. It, yeah, I mean, we can talk all night about what okay. deserves the funding. At the end of the day, the goal is to leverage, you know, non-local resources with local resources. And we are in other areas applying for grants to do that same thing. Um, so, so this would be leveraging grant dollars with local dollars to get more bang for our buck. And, um, and that is the only way that this gets done. Right? Right. That's the only way. So um, if that pulls attention off of other other projects, that is something that you know, you know, above myself or this committee that's going to have to ultimately decide that with the common council. But um, you know, we just spend a lot of time and effort to do master planning of parks. The parks have not received the amount of investment needed, so we are playing catch up. Um, so and you know. We're trying to do it as responsibly as we can when grant dollars are available. So, um, I, whatever, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you know what so, yeah. I like the concept. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. is that okay? Mm -hmm. Proceed over. With the sidewalk. Thank you for that. Okay. You can pull up the Murray Park Trail. What is that called? It's right over here. Sorry, this was a mistake. So, um, Murray Park Trail uh, project, we're looking at doing this. Um, so, in the yellow, we would be asphalting this year. In the blue, we would be constructing a new path unpaved um, through the park. And then the asphalt then would be kind of where it crosses over onto the extension toward. Um, toward Eureka. Um, so uh, we're working through this project. 
we would bid it in a couple of different phases, meaning um, the, the paving would be priority one, priority two would be the blue uh, section. So we'll, we'll do this in tandem with our other projects for the year. So with Horner, uh, the Horner Park as, as well as the Tiger Street Bridge and the State Street, we're doing it all sort of in tandem. So um, yeah, as the path sits today, uh, from last year installed, um, it's just an aggregate path. It's, it's, it needs to be, um, there needs to be a, a, a top layer put on. So that would be the goal. And then the existing path around the, the, the park would be rehabilitated to be a wider aggregate path. Um, you know, whether it's limestone or we eventually pave it, I think it just is, it just it would take it to be kind of an unmaintained um, skinny trail to a trail that's at least comparably sized to the current aggregate trail through the park. So this will be um, bid out in the coming month or two, like two months from now or so. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that everybody was kind of informed and knows that this is sort of happening and any other feedback would be appreciated. But I, you know, I think it will, from a connection point to the ball diamonds, everything is the right decision to make. So, you okay with it? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll move on to ordinance for three dogs in the park. I believe that was included in your packing as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, when I um, before I first started, this is one thing that I noticed a lot of people commenting on um, in the survey results is the ordinance sign uh, restricting dogs. Um, I personally, not just me being a dog person, but uh, like I personally don't see a problem with allowing dogs in parks everywhere. Allow, not everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> most <laughs> parks allow for, uh, allow dogs, and yeah, there's the risk of people not picking up their dog's poop or stuff. But there's parks where you're stepping in goose poop half the time, and I don't know, it's, I feel like it's something so minor for um, people to be able to go and enjoy a park with their dog. Like, I, me personally, that's like one thing I look for when I move to a uh, community, not like for a dog ordinance, but specifically an area I can go with my husband and dog to go enjoy it outdoors and whatnot, so I feel like it's important for um, residents here to be able to do that as well. And. Um, uh, we would have to like put out like the uh, not put out uh, find uh, pricing for like signage and the poop bay stations, whatever you want to call them, uh, dog waste stations. Which they're actually not like honestly they're not too expensive. Like here's some examples of them. Like it's um, two fifty and under basically. You can bundle into the and cheaper and whatnot for the waste station. So it's not crazy expensive um, for them and whatnot. So I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I see no problem having dogs allowed in parks. But and just to, 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 the the survey results were about seventy thirty, yeah. wanting more access for dogs in the parks. So we drafted an ordinance that has some stipulations and some rules mm -hmm. regarding the operator to, to allowing dogs in parks. Um, so you know, you can kind of see what what the restriction would be, uh, where we would where we would allow dogs, where we would not. You know, you don't want them running around on ball diamonds, you don't want them close to shelters, you don't, you know, so, so there will be restrictions, so we'll need to post signage uh, at the entrance of the parks. Um, people are using the parks already with dogs, you know. Um, the police have reviewed the changes and, and haven't made any massive, you know, no, don't, don't do this, because I think they're, you know, just generally from an enforcement perspective, it's very difficult to, when somebody's walking on a path through a park, and you're like, no dogs, but you're on a sidewalk in a park, it, it's just, like here, it's hard to enforce, and how do you say to someone, 
coming off the mass Cuban trail with the dog that you can't bring them into our park. It, it just it doesn't make sense. So um, we try to put together some rather, I mean, they're rather strict from the standpoint of, you know, it's not a free-for-all. The other side of it is we do have a dog park. We understand that. The dog park is not easily accessible to city residents. That is just a fact. It is not in the city limits. You can't walk your dog there safely. Um, so um, this is what has been drafted, and, you know, obviously, any feedback. Is it in legal? <laughs> it's very like dogs shall be permitted, and then no dogs should be permitted in the same. Does it have to be phrased like this? It's very kind of, you have to read it like three or four times before you're like, okay, I think I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just here. <laughs> you can't just make it simple. Uh, you have a dog on a path. We, we can try. And where's the 20 feet from? I mean, did you just make that up? <laughs> no, I mean, that's just, a, I think, from the standpoint of um, how far away under the control of an of a owner with the, the length of a leash, you know, we didn't go to the point where we're saying you have to be on a six foot leash, you know, that gets to be even more restrictive where, you know, but some leashes go on quite, quite a bit. So, so by keeping the 20 feet, you know, is it, is it, is it, is everybody going to be sitting there and take a team and saying you're 20 bucks? Well, that's what, you know, I think. But to yeah. say that they need to be on a leash should be first. Yeah. Playground, and then 
and the dog's going to run off the leash or get off and be at, at the playground. Um, so I think, you know, from the standpoint of creating that expectation that there is a distance, and, and even though it may not be as enforceable uh, or hard to enforce from you know, when somebody was there or wasn't there, I think, you know, the other side of this too is when somebody is within 20 feet and the dog, if the dog does use the restroom grass, within 20 feet of that shelter or of that picnic area or of that playground, there's a greater likelihood that somebody steps on it. So I, I do feel that there is an appropriate standard that should be set for that. And um, well, and I think for the playground there are children that are free of dogs. Yes. Like mm -hmm. Just for the parents. Yes, and that, that's part of it too. You know. It's, it's just like yeah. Well, I'm just my point was like it's either going to be all negatives or you can't have a positive and then say no dog. Oh, you have to read first. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so, 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 in, in what, so what we're doing is we're going from saying, so we, we don't want any dogs in cemeteries. So everybody right, can agree, we, we can't have dogs in cemeteries, okay? We don't want that, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, the current ordinance is a person owning or in charge of dogs shall not permit such dog to be on any city-owned operated park, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what we, we did, was we changed that to um, any animal uh, because we are we are saying that people that have other animals they're not allowed in the park you know like mm -hmm. cats or anything like that so we are carving that out and then saying that dogs are permitted except for you know the following conditions or under the following conditions so we can but just yeah don't say no dog then just say I can't think of
kick back to um, cemeteries because I, I don't think we wanted people to think that a path was allowed, you were allowed to take the dog into the path mm -hmm. in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. So um, so I think we can differentiate that a little bit different because these these are two things that are lumped in together, the cemeteries and the parks for the dogs. So we can clean that up. And then um, and then you know, obviously number three I think is fine. If there's an event for okay. So we'll do some words with it, but in concept, does this general we have the committee's support in concept if we work with Smith a little bit mm -hmm. and take it to the council for review and possible action? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that, but <laughs> it might be next week. Do you want to like make a motion to can you make a motion to recommend something like that? Like recommend that. I'll make a motion to uh, clean it up. Clean it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right, let's see if we can get dogs. Can you do it? Oh, yeah, Jim. We're going to eat in the park. 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 We're going to eat in the park.
feedback from the community to see what they want in programming or else I'm basing it off of what I just think everybody wants. So I don't know. It was it was super nice to get the responses. Um, and in order to implement these programs and whatnot, um, we're working on the building blocks of little by little, doing everything we need to do with the website, liability, all that kind of stuff to then build the program. So that has to be done before I can implement this. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't know if you want to take the time to read that, it's a lot, a lot of responses there, but, yeah, it's nice. That's all I really have to say. Is there, is there anything that you feel like you're going to focus on right off the bat? Yeah, I want to do, uh, so actually with, for adult programming, um, a lot of people said when it came to yoga, Noreen actually just got a grant from Webster's, or was it? Yeah, Webster's. Yes, Webster's. Uh, for yoga in the park throughout the whole summer. And that can actually be offered to, like anybody can show up to it. It's not just specifically for your 55 plus, no one else can attend. It's like more geared towards seniors. Um, but that's kind of already essentially like in the works um, or already implemented, so that's actually pretty nice. I talked with her about that. Um, but I, when it comes to like youth programs and whatnot, I talked to um, the what's the trail that I the like that's that what? Yeah. Yeah. Association. Association. Yeah. Association. yeah, so I sent them an email um, just asking if they wanted to collaborate on any nature programs or anything like that with the people who are in the association. I just got a response back yesterday, I think. Um, and they they just offer, I can't remember, they just offer like one um, program or hike or whatever it is in the spring. And other than that, they don't offer anything currently, they said. So they said they'd love to collaborate and um, I don't know, build some nature programs around urban, so that's pretty exciting. Also, also for youth and adults, because the adults were interested in it as well. Um, and then for just like, a lot of the responses said they wanted baseball and like soccer and whatnot, which is in the community, but I know it's not for absolutely like all ages, like Adam's daughter, who's two, two, three, three. Um, and there's there's no programming for kids that age, so I think it would be nice to offer like a program where um, it's more of like an introduction to the sport. It's nothing competitive or anything like that. Just like one one week you're doing an introduction to like learn about basketball, then you're learning about volleyball, and just like a introduction to all sports essentially. So I don't know. There's a bunch of ideas going on in my head uh, of what I could possibly do, but that I could go on. I could keep talking. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Lots of opportunities with the with their responses and partnerships and whatnot, so. And then, like, I reached out, uh, I reached out to uh, the Ripon College, their uh, volleyball team. There was a lot of um, responses for volleyball for youth. And, like, last year I offered a program with my coach from college where she came to Juno and she taught skills camp and the girls, that was like my best attended program because they just thought it was so cool that a college players and this coach are coming to teach us and they thought it was just like the best thing ever. So I, I haven't gotten a response yet, but just stuff like that where I can collaborate with people who are already here and I don't know, building off of that. So. A lot of exciting things. Yeah, a lot of it's just going to be attractive. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We talk like dull wise, pickleball, volleyball. Yes. I think those are, those are some of the things we're, I think we talked about just from the survey results yeah. that are kind of low hanging fruit. And then, um, you know, some of the other stuff we don't, we don't want to step on anybody's toes for people. And the other side of this too is, is that, you know, it has so many indications. Some of just like the senior side of things, I think we talked about putting together, you know, rec programming, 
pamphlets and brochures, you know, like a whole program guide. Mm -hmm. So pulling it all together, it's a little late this year, but moving on. So so people, you know, there are people asking us to do baseball. Well, there is somebody doing baseball. Mm -hmm. so, so like we just pulling it all together is something we've talked about, and then supplementing uh, with anything and everything using this facility. So there's a lot of, I think a lot of good information in there, 123 responses is pretty solid to start making some, some plans. Um, but yeah, she's a lot of thoughts, but we got to build up everything first too. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so we just had our, Noreen and I just had our third training today. Um, the sets will be gone next week, then next one will be the first week of April. And then, but then, for example, we have to get the payment processor um, figured out. And I was told by Rep Desk today that once the application gets filled out for the payment processor, then it takes two weeks for them it, to get to Rep Desk. And so it's just, It'll be a couple out. Oh. Do you have your demo? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, I was going to show that to you guys too. So, um, this is the my side of things. I mean, not the actual site. So this is not exactly what it's going to look like yet. Like we're still building the site. For example, these buttons will be different. It's not how they will be. But um, they, she talked to us today about. Somebody, one of these buttons is going to say like senior activities, one's going to say recreation. So if a senior is on the site and they're like, oh, I don't know where to go, there'll just be a specific senior button that will take you to the senior programs and what's going on so it's more user friendly in that way. Um, so, so far we have built out the facilities. So here's all the um, <coughs> facilities that we have and um, for all those Park. So it has the details of the park, it tells you the location, um, and then I, these are just pictures that were used in the past. Once it actually gets nicer and I can take more updated pictures, I guess, um, I'll add those. But these are just the pictures I have in the shared drive. Um, so there's pictures of the park, and then you get to see it, or all the park hours are the same, but um, let me pick one you can actually rent though. Uh, let's say lower shelter. So here's, uh, it tells you exactly how many tables, how many people it seats, blah, blah, blah. It tells you all the rental information, which I'm working on um, adjusting and changing and whatnot. But, uh, and then you can click the calendar, or here you can't, here, let me click reserve, let me click the right thing. So I'm hitting reserve. And I'm a user, I want to like, use the park this day, I can reserve the park, there's only one rental a day. And if I was actually logged in, and on my end of things, obviously I don't live in Ripon, so I'm a, obviously a non-resident. So here's my profile I created, so this is what you guys would have on your end. Um, shows you all the information uh, for the community members and if I go to rent a facility I want to reserve all of Barlow Park on the 25th. So it only, since I put in a program, it only allows me to choose the non-resident right. So I click it, I can't do anything right now because the online registration isn't currently up due to the fact that the website's not uh, up and running yet. <laughs> but yeah, I just put in all the information and as I go along, which I wish I could add to cart to show you, um, then there will be the waivers and everything that people will have to agree to. So that's what we've set up so far, um, is just the facilities, and then um, we just started working on the programs today. So it was just Noreen's, a couple of brand things that were put in there, these are just examples, so it's not exactly how they will be set up. Um, but like for example, her water aerobics right now, it's not collected in the best way, so they just collect money at um, the Wilmore Center, um, just cash. So this way people will be able to sign up online, and as a user, I will I can just click whatever days I want. So these are all the days in April that Noreen's having uh, water aerobics. So I can just click, 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 all the days I want to attend and check out. So I don't know, it's, it's 
it's good. Um, a better way of collecting money and uh, organization. It's mm -hmm. so far it's way better than what we have to learn here. So yeah, that's what we've been doing so far. Um, and then the next training we're working on the admin side of things. So all the or reports, so all revenue reports, stuff like that. That um, yeah. So that's what we're doing so far. We can probably <laughs> yeah, it was pretty exciting. It's nice to have those sites. Mm -hmm. Anything no. else on the direction report? Are there any are there any programs you want us to focus on? Is there anything you, that you, as a committee, want us to prioritize? I think from the surveys or just in general. This is the thing that you're you're seeing that people are asking about that already exists, but they don't know the price. Yes. That's the yeah. thing that you're seeing on your end. So mm -hmm. there's most of the things out there that people don't even know we have available, and they don't know who to contact, and so that information would be really helpful. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, and what he was, Adam was talking about with the, um, the rec guides. So there would be like a summer, fall rec guide, or a summer rec guide, fall, winter guide. And it could have, it doesn't just have to have the senior center and our stuff. Like it can have the law page for the library, it can have all the different organizations that are on the Yeah. 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 It's a good way to advertise. You know, for me, the only way I know some of these activities is when I get sent home from school. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know how to do it. Work with them and getting that information in our system, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that might be easier for people out of town to get involved in some of our activities here too. Mm -hmm. You know, green light people come over for soccer and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I know that I don't know about schools here, but I know a lot of schools have like social media pages and whatnot. So what I did prior, so I would send out the information and ask if they could post it like on their social media or if they could post it on their school's website too, so I could do that as well. Do you want to pick all of them? You want to? You want to oh. I already did. <laughs> I talked to you. Rugby leagues, Jason, anything? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all for it. I'm going to have a play. It's so easy. I'm going to have a play. I'm going to have a play. Yes. <laughs> I talked to Bill at the high school and he's more than happy to let us use the, the outdoor course for pickleball. And they're, the eight, they have like eight courts, I think. But, and there's some, there is a group in Ribbon that does, but if they have their own app that they're doing for their group that goes out on Wednesday night, so there's something happening there, but they tend to be more advanced than the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm hoping that I could potentially have a uh, Pickleball league maybe starting at the end of May um, after their uh, tennis practices and their games and everything are essentially completed and whatnot. So that's what I was talking to Bill about. Just really excited. Is there anything you see or you want to just have an email? Oh, yeah. If there's anything we're missing. From a unique perspective or something. So. Yeah, like your son called me and his ideas were awesome. So I welcome anybody's collaboration or ideas or stuff like that. So I was pretty excited when he called me. How many people volunteered to be like coaches and like. like there were pretty yeah. many people who oh, said, so yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know the exact amount. I don't know. But yeah, there's a decent amount of people. There can be. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't seen any papers in that town, but it'd be fun. I guess you anything else you want to talk about during the report once? Yeah, so um, like I've been saying, I'm just working on essentially supporting documents and materials to get ready for program implementation and rentals. So for example, um, I brought up a memorandum of understanding like with the school district. I have an example here. I forgot to print this. But here's this is what I could uh, we created right before it. 
left in the prior talk. So this is just an understanding that we have, with, I don't know if you care to look at it, um, that we have with the school, basically just to outline um, what we expect from them and what they expect from us. Um, so it's not like, <coughs> I don't, like an uneven balance of where they're doing a lot or we're doing a lot, so it, um, I don't know, it's pretty equal and um, having a positive relationship to them better, um, I don't know, programs and whatnot for the community and the kids and whatnot. So um, that's one of the things that I'll be working on. Um, I'll talk with Bill um, when it comes to like the baseball when they're using our fields and if I'm using their pickleball. Um, uh, Course and just what they expect of us, and if we need to fill out rental forms, and if they're filling out rental forms and sharing liability information and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, working on that, and then um, just the liability forms, like I already mentioned, for rentals and programs. Because currently on the rental form, it's essentially just like one little blurb, like a sentence. So I am talking with blood to um, not expand it to some fancy long waiver when it comes to just renting a, a shelter or something, but just beefing it up a little bit um, to, you know, not better protect yourself, it's just to better protect yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and then we're, I'm working on revamping just the rental agreement itself uh, for uh, parks and then creating the rental agreement for this building too, because there's nothing so it will be similar, I guess, to the park rentals, um, except obviously there's the kitchen, so there's like different uh, things that will have to be added onto there. Um, yeah, there's already the, the fees are already set from the budget or before I got here, so that part's already taken care of. It's just the um, rules and what we expect from people when they rent it, um, and then also volunteer forms and background checks. Um, when it comes to volunteers here at the Senior Activity Center, so yeah, those are those are pretty important. I uh, I learned right before before I left that you definitely need to background check your volunteers. And then I'm working with uh, Noreen and Adam to just kind of create a better running. Uh, the Senior Activity Center um, when it comes to like volunteers, deposits, social media, just a bunch of different things to have the, um, I don't know, make it appealing and to get more involvement when it comes to programs and whatnot. Um, for example, like I'm taking over, um, I guess, the money side of things with deposits and whatnot. I, um, created a deposit form. It's just super basic, but it, it's just something that wasn't done before that just kind of helps City Hall when it comes to knowing exactly where something's being deposited and stuff like that. That's, I don't know, it's important for Karen and um, for them to understand exactly what we want and everything. So, yeah, not very exciting things, but uh, just little things <laughs> in there to uh, improve on and to build up into what will be our programming. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, Project updates, anything we need to be talking about? Yeah. Uh, Jim, I for the next meeting. If anybody has those, please make sure to send them either Ashton's way or uh, Howard's way. And then would we like to meet again monthly next month or? We'll be played by a year. Yeah. Each, each year should be on vacation. And we'll try to meet depending on what we have. But it's just basically brick by brick building it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head off and back to the next meeting and that announcement on that. So, uh, any other discussion? Otherwise, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Thank you.